Okay, everyone, uh, this is Power Wheels for Success, and I am going to talk about accessibility. Here in the United States, we have what's called the ADA, and of course, most locations and jobs are obligated to accommodate, but that uh, there's a whole bunch of loopholes in that. So um, here are a few uh, tidbits that might help you in terms of uh, jobs and visiting venues and sites, parks that you would want to go to, all right? If you're coming down with a condition and you uh, there's been some talk between you and your doctor or you and your therapist about a wheelchair for you to use during the day or when you're at your job, start talking to your supervisor early if you see that there might be some issues uh, in, in terms of accessibility. So the sooner you can talk about that, the better. And depends also on your supervisor. Um, mine is uh, made of gold plus. So she's, she's really good and really gentle on, on these things. So not a problem at all. But other supervisors are a little bit more stiffer. So you have to maybe find an advocate or support from HR to work that through. Uh, so that's job and employment. Uh, other locations that you want to visit, parks or restaurants, uh, go out and have fun. Even though we have a disability, we'd like to have fun, right? So uh, there are apps here in the United States that uh, give us information about parks. So, uh, so that's great. Uh, I don't have the name of them, but I will post them on my website so you can take a look. I found them and they're awesome. And they tell us if, if it's accessible for wheelchairs, so that's great. Um, there's another app for restaurants uh, and for other venues, bars. Uh, so I will look that app up as well. Uh, I think a teenager designed that one, so, and it is flexible. You can put uh, your information in there in terms of if you find a venue that is accessible uh, for wheelchair users, then you put it in, and that the more data it has, the more it helps all of us. So uh, the other thing you can do, call ahead. Is it accessible for wheelchairs? Is, is there a ramp? Is there a door I need to go through, you know? Um, sometimes you have to go through the back door, sometimes through a side door, uh, and not exactly through the front door. So call ahead, use an app, talk to friends or other people who use wheelchairs. Uh, they have information. If you are a designer and like to put apps together, you might even put your own app together um, and be able to put information there for other uh, wheelchair users. Uh, because we like to go out. People don't know that, but we like to go out, don't we? <laughs> Have some fun once in a while. So, um, so yeah, um, let's talk about transportation. Not all of us drive, some of us do, um, but uh, here in Milwaukee, we do have access to the public uh, transportation bus system. Not all the buses are accessible, so um, I'm still trying to figure out uh, what buses and what lines I'll be able to use. So um, I'm not quite sure if I'll go back to driving, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Uber, uh, not in all states, but Uber has uh, a program called WAVE, W-A-V, and that stands for wheelchair accessible vans. So if you call uh, and you have a credit card, you can uh, schedule them uh, to pick you up, take you wherever you want. So uh, Uber, remember that. So you have to download the app and all that kind of stuff. Uh, some states have special programs in which uh, you can be picked up by a public transportation van and taken to wherever you need to go, the pharmacy, the doctor. Sometimes they're medical specific, right? so you can't use them to go see friends or something. But in other, in other counties or states, yes, you can use it to go visit a friend or get dropped off at a park or 
but you need to sign up, a doctor needs to sign a form, all that kind of stuff. But it's worth it. You know, it's cheaper. So, uh, so transportation to get to the place you want to go, uh, venues, call ahead or look up some apps in your county or state. Uh, and for your job, for accessibility at your work, they're obligated to do that. Uh, and just start talking to your supervisor early. Or if you are going to go to an interview, just check ahead before you go if that particular building is accessible. So that's really important. Uh, so you don't get stuck there staring at the stairs and knowing you're not going to be able to get to this uh, interview. It's, that's kind of, it gives you a eh feeling. So uh, just pre, pre plan. Uh, that's my life, pre plans. And uh, that's all I can think of. If you have any ideas or more tips about accessibility, traveling, accessibility, visiting, accessibility at work, put the information below or ask any questions you would like. So hopefully uh, this video was useful to you and to many others. Thank you. See you soon.